Hi again, everyone. This is Jim with Atlas. And today we're going to talk about nutrition for health, performance, and injury avoidance in cycling. Cycling, of course, is a very physically demanding activity and requires a good level of health and fitness to be able to do it well. The higher our health level is, the better our performance is in any activity, um, the lower our risk of injury as well, and the more enjoyable our activity will be, include uh, cycling in this case. Uh, nutrition is critical for peak health and performance. So we wanna fuel ourselves properly to get the most while we're cycling. Good nutrition before and during and after your rides is critical for your performance uh, recovery from uh, workouts and improving your, your health and fitness. So I wanna talk about balanced nutrition, um, carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. So complex carbohydrates are what we need for our immediate and higher intensity energy requirements. And so you want about 50% of your total calories, plus or minus 50% of total calories to be by carb complex carbohydrates. Um, and it's a good idea to get those carbohydrates in, get some of those in right after a workout. So you restore um, your body's uh, stored carbohydrates, which are in the muscle and in the liver in what's called uh, glycogen. As far as fats go, fats are gonna give you that sustained energy. They're broken down and uh, utilized more slowly for fuel, um, converted from triglycerides to glucose. Um, and about 25% of your total daily caloric intake should be by fat. And then finally, proteins. Proteins also give sustained energy. They're converted also to glucose, um, but they're also real important for tissue maintenance and repair. Uh, so uh, avoiding injury, we want to keep those, uh, those soft tissues, our muscles, tendons, ligaments um, repaired, and they're, by, um, they're mostly made of proteins. So about 25% of total caloric intake has protein. Other considerations are hydration, water, um, have a good con a water container and a holder on your bike. If you're really biking a lot or long duration, consider a hydration pack like a Camelback or one of the other um, uh, systems that are out there. Um, consider adding electrolytes like um, potassium. There's, there's uh, uh, electrolyte supplements you can get to put in your water. Um, you're gonna give that your uh, potassium, calcium, magnesium, phosphorus. Um, and don't forget those veggies, four cups or more a day of varied veggies. Consider a daily, also a daily multivitamin mineral supplement. So think of your body as a, as a car. And in this case, we want a performance car. We want a Porsche. And if you put cheap fuel in a Porsche, even though it's a really fancy schmancy car, it's not gonna run very well. So fuel your body with premium food and enjoy cycling. Thanks for joining. We'll talk to you next time.